Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Michael Adams and Mateus Bartel. This is a game from the London Classic Chess Tournament 2023. Adams had white pieces and he started with e4. Bartel played c6, d4, d5, the Karo Khan defense, e5, the advanced variation, bishop to f5, the most played move, knight to f3, e6, bishop to e2, knight to d7, castling. This is a popular line seen many times in the past. In this position, black usually plays knight from g to e7. Bartel played a5, a4, f6, attacking the white center, bishop to e3, queen to b6, how to defend the pawn on b2. And from b to d2, f takes on e5 was played. If queen takes on b2, one line goes like this. Bishop to d3, bishop takes on d3, c takes on d3, queen to b6. Black is a pawn up, but behind in the development. Back to our game. f takes on e5, knight takes on e5, knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, bishop to c5, Bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, knight to b3, queen to e7. Let's take it back. If queen takes on c2, one line goes like this. Queen takes queen, bishop takes queen, but after knight to d4, and bishop to f5, g4. This position, five was white. Back to our game. Queen to e7 was played, white to move. What would you do? Adams played bishop to h5 check, very important check. g6, blocking. But with this move, black created the weaknesses on the dark squares in his camp. Bishop to e2, h5, queen to d2, queen to c7. Attacking the pawn on e5. How would you defend the pawn? Adams played bishop to d3. What a lovely move. Knight to h6. Well, there was a little trap set up here. If queen takes on e5, then rook from f to e1. After queen to d6, bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, knight to d4, and white is winning. Back to our game. So we have knight to h6, knight to d4, queen to e7, rook to a3, Bishop takes on d3, rook takes on d3, knight to f5, knight takes knight, g takes on f5. All the minor pieces are gone. Who is better? White stands better, especially if he can open the position. How to open this position? By pushing a pawn, and that is c pawn. Black to move, king to f7. If castling queen side, then queen takes on a5. If castling king side, then queen to h6. And again, white stands better. Back to our game. So we have king to f7. It is a cold weather in London, in December, and the black king likes to keep warm next to his queen. C takes on d5. E takes on d5. The idea is to create a spot for the king on e6. Rook to e1, king to e6. At the moment, the black king found safety on e6. If black, by some miracle, can trade all the pieces, then the black king is well positioned for the endgame and black would win. But this is not the endgame yet. Rook to g3. Queen to f7, and now b4, trying to create a second weakness in the black camp. h4, rook to b3, f4, b takes on a5, rook from a to g8, queen to b4, rook to h7, queen to d6, check, king to f5. Why to move? What would you do in this position? If you had white pieces, please pause and find the best move. 
for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this lovely rook sacrifice? Rook takes pawn on b7. Kaboom. Sacrificing the rook to deflect the black. Queen. Queen takes on b7. Queen to f6. Check. King to g4. Queen to e6. Check. King to h5. Queen takes a rook. Rook to g7. Queen to f8. d4. e6. c5. Threatening checkmate. How would you defend g2 square? Are you ready to see the move? White played the move and black resigned. And the move is... Kaboom! Queen takes on g7. Play with the black pieces resigned in view of this continuation. Queen takes queen. e7. h3 threatening checkmate. But after pawn to e8. Queen check. King to g4. Rook to e5. Everything is losing for black. So we may as well play. Pawn takes pawn on g2. And then queen to h5. Check. Mate. What a brilliant game by Michael Adams. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.